Come here now! I told you, you'd never come back to me that way, ever! Stop it! When you know something's wrong, it's easy to look the other way. I'm Sharon with the Department of Child Services. I'm here to pick up Katie. But if you pay attention to a problem long enough, sometimes you become part of the solution. Don't look away. After that experience, I learned that hundreds of kids in my community were being placed in foster care and the system was overwhelmed. I couldn't be a foster parent, but I knew I had to do something. So before we close our final session today, I want to remind you that you might be the most consistent person in the life of the child you're assigned to. Your job is to become as familiar as possible with their circumstances so you can make recommendations to the court regarding what's best for them. And so Did I feel prepared? No. But when a kid is taken away from his home and his family, he isn't prepared either. From my position, I could see all sides of foster care. When are you going to grow up? Don't just sit there. You could have been around. Don't you can't take care of her own kid. I saw families that were broken. You're hurting me. I saw foster parents struggling to create a sense of safety and love in a minefield of emotional injuries. He pulled him out, he looked at him, got real quiet, and slammed him on the table and ran out. He was very upset. I mean, um, I don't know what happened. He, he just changed suddenly. And, and we were very concerned. I mean, he wouldn't speak to us about it. We, we, we didn't know why he was so upset about getting a new pair of shoes. And I saw a boy who had everything taken from him. I wanted to go home. My mom is not a bad person. To a lot of people, he must have seemed like a bad kid. But after a few short months, I had come to understand that he was mostly scared. What do you think? Oh! <laughs> I'm not an expert, but one thing I quickly learned is that violence leaves wounds on more than just your body. And those wounds can be both a symptom and a cause that sometimes the people who cause the most damage are the ones who have been hurt the most. In situations like that, it's hard to know what's best. Thank you, Ms. Williams, for that report and for volunteering your time for this case. Based on the testimony of Ms. Williams and of other witnesses we've heard from today, the court finds it best that Dylan remain in the temporary care of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson until such time as the circumstances of his home prove to be suitable for children. It's hard when the problem is overwhelming and you feel you have no solution to offer. It's hard to stick with it. 
but these last few months have taught me that when the problem is bigger than I am, the solution is too.